Are, are you guys ready to take each a turn at the wheel? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, so Look how this, this works, this is a, our lovely wheel of fun here. So instead of asking you guys all the same, like, random question, like, what's your favorite live show, and then having everyone answer it, each one of you basically gets a spin at the wheel. So whatever it lands on is our subject or what you're answering. And then at the end of this, you guys get to actually erase one of these topics and add your own for the next one. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's going first? Uh, I think Josh is closest. All right, fair. So what, basically what I do is I just stick this so you guys have to be my judge. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to stop it. All right. At any point. I'll do the prizes right sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're getting record talk. <laughs> record talk. <laughs> Great, let's so, talk about this thing. Favorite Man, record I, and oh, why. Oh, favorite record. Oh, wow. Record. <laughs> That's a tough question, dude. I. You know, I, I'll pull one from, like, you know, my younger years. Uh band called Hum, Downward is Heavenward, it's one of my favorite records. That, or Failure of Fantastic Planet, is another really influential record for me. Uh, wait, wait, you oh, wait, no, you get it. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so why don't you, uh, you whew, care cause about I swear, I've never listened to a record before. <laughs> <laughs> so that was gonna be a tough one. Okay. Alright, you gonna spin it, go for it. Shotgun of beer. Shotgun of beer. Shotgun. See, I go for a good beer. Oh! <laughs> my man! Do we have beers left? So you hopefully. drank them already. No, there's one in there. Is there one in I there? I made sure to say one for the shot. <laughs> oh, he's right. <laughs> he was ready. <laughs> he was so, ready. Uh, do you have your letter winner? Oh, I do, sir. All right. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. Yeah, it's been at least 24 hours. 24 hours? It should also be known that I'm the only person in this band that would probably be able to take this task on. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd believe that. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Don't block it. There you go. <laughs> Sir? Sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, I fucked it up. Oh, God. Oh, man. Joke, joke, joke! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you! Well done. So we all went to a, a you know a, a private college. You know, <laughs> finishing school went well for all of us. <laughs> prestigious. <laughs> yeah, prestigious. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we're here at um, Bedrock LA for BBB Live, and today we have Battle Tapes with us. Thanks for being here, guys. Oh, thank you for having us. Um, you ready to jump into some questions? Let's do it. Cool. So when and why did each of you start playing music? Uh, I got into it when I was a kid. Uh, my grandmother had a piano, and I watched her play, and then I started playing, and just kind of took to it naturally. Um, my dad played guitar, my mom sang, so it was just kind of around me all the time, and I just picked up on it and got into it. I've just been there ever since. Uh, my mom insisted that I play something, so I chose guitar. And then, you know, fast forward 17 years, and Josh made me play a synth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called him. I was like, "Hey, man, you interested in being a band?" Yeah, dude, I can play guitar. Like, that's that's cool, man. Um, <laughs> I got this synthesizer here. How good are you pressing buttons on the keyboard? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Pretty good so. Um, all my friends started getting guitars around age twelve or thirteen, and my uncle Bill had a bass. Gave me the bass. So I was kind of the, one of the kids in the uh, neighborhood that had a bass, and just kind of, you know, started playing in bands with my friends then, and just. Just approached it that way. So thanks, Uncle Bill. <laughs> Uncle Bill. I love Uncle Bill, man. Um, my my dad's a drummer, so I always had a drum kit around the house and um, various keyboards and whatnot. So I just started tinkering around with those. And once I saw that girls liked rock and roll, <laughs> the rest was history. Nice. So how did you guys all meet? Uh, Stephen and I are friends from teen teenagers, and uh, we grew up together. Did records together. Josh was like the guy in town that had a good studio or knew what he was doing kind of at the turn of the century where you could get into recording yourselves and uh, worked on the band of mine. We just got along great. And it's like, hey, man, uh, I'm, I'm moving, go to school, going to end up in L.A., but I'll call you in to do a band. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'm never going to do that. And nine years <laughs> later, you know, here, here we are. I've been doing it for, for a while. So that's all that started. And I actually don't know these guys. <laughs> no, I moved out to L.A. Uh, to pursue audio engineering, and then through a friend met Josh, who, like we just said, said, hey, man, do you want to play in a band? And I said, yeah, I like guitar, and then since. 
and uh, we met Beak through just through mutual friends. Uh, Rival yeah. street. Yeah. Rival uh, street dancing <laughs> gangs. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually, actually just improv West Side Story it was what we were doing. That's the audition. Like, that was in yeah. West Hollywood, you know? <laughs> These guys were busting a move, and I came into he the He just club. jumped right in. We were like, oh, shit, what? no! You stepping? You stepping? Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of came together pretty organically. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah. So why the name Battle Tapes? Uh, you know, I could give you, like, some fancy story about it, and, like, you know, well, you know... It was really came down to logistics and like no one had the name and we all liked it and it came off the tongue well and you know in this day and age everyone's got every band name and to find a name that you like that no one has just jump on it yeah so but um you know it, on the less uh, logical tip we it was something a phrase that kept coming up in my life like there was a Beastie Boys over the Mitchell Battle Tapes I grew up in the kind of rough area of Atlanta and dudes were always rapping the battle tapes and. Uh, a band I like had a record called Break Out the Battle Tapes, and it just kept coming up, and that's where the name came from. Cool. Nice. So how does your creative process work? Uh, usually, uh, one of us will come up with an idea and just kind of volley it back and forth. Um, or I'll come up with an idea and run with it, and then these guys will get in the room together and start hashing it out and kind of figuring out the parts and the lay of the land, and we end up with a song by the end of the day. So what's um, coming up for you guys this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing right now on our radar is Bottle Rock Fest in Napa, which is really cool, and we're super excited to be invited to play that. Yeah. Uh, finishing up a record. We've got some cool remixes from some cool artists that we're doing. Uh, that's what I can think of the top of my head. Yeah, Trying to find some people to do remixes for our, our new record. Yeah. And, um, you know, the such. Yeah. Cool. Um, so being as you guys have, like, the electronic aspect here in LA, <laughs> How would you describe yourselves, though, to people? Because I could see some people being like, oh, yeah, this is this, or this is yeah, this. Yeah. So when it, people ask you, what do you say? You know, it's funny, like, it's really interesting, I think, to us, and we discuss is like, the... I don't think it's easy to compartmentalize us. Yeah, it's and not. And people definitely want to do that, and we're always surprised, like, what we get compared to. And, uh, you know, I still think we're a rock band. Um, you know, we love synths and drum machines and that, obviously, but, like, I think it's just a different approach to the same problem, you know? So, how would us describe us? I don't know. Uh, I like dance rock band. Like you, yeah, you kind of like before. gotta dance own that. Rock. Like I'm not afraid to say like we're a disco rock band. Fuck you guys. Like yeah. come on, you know. Uh, so once I kind of got comfortable wrapping my head around that, I felt like that it's a little generic, but that kind of is a good blanket, you know, thing. Um, he says dance rock. I'm, I feel like we're really more kind of like a rock dance. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the age old debate with the band. <laughs> All right. I'll All right. Take the spin for you. All right. Spin it. Oh, one thing you love about your bandmates. Oh. Yes. Aww. Um. This, this might sound silly. I, I love that they're my friends. You know, especially after coming to LA and seeing bands where it's a revolving revolving members or like there's oh that's clearly the guy doing the stuff and he's hi hired guns which is which is fine, but um, you know I've always felt like. I'm really fortunate to play in a band with my friends and people I want to hang out with and, and do things other than band stuff with. And it, it's kind of like when you were 15 or 16 and did your first band and you had to play with your friends, you know? Um, and to be able to do that as an adult and, and move forward and, and still have fun, like, that's the thing that, that I, you know, even more than the music, I love the music, but I really love playing with my friends. So. All right, last one. Oh, Ready? man. <laughs> Not you. Do I say stop? You can if you want to. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. Cards Against Humanity. Have you guys played this one? Oh, yeah. I, I haven't played this one. Oh, oh man, so we'll just do like I've never seen the bigger, two. blacker box. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that is intense. This is pretty much everything they have out right now. You can answer your question some kind of too bad. That's what I thought. The heat right. that comes off the... <laughs> so I'm going to give each of you five cards, and I'm going to be picking out a topic, and you pick the best card anything fits that topic and then we'll judge who we think is the best one mm. I've got five gold cards <laughs> <laughs> nice all right so our topic when Pharaoh remained Shit, unmoved right. Moses called down a plague of blank oh let me just go ahead and <laughs> oh. 
Okay. When Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a plague of catastrophic urethral trauma. Ooh, that's right. brutal. That's a tough call. A plague of amputees. <laughs> that's a good one. A plague of dick <laughs> fingers. And a plague of man meat. Wow. Have you guys know that website? <laughs> <laughs> plague of man meat. Yeah. I kind of feel like I gotta go with amputees. Uh, nice. I don't know why. That's Is that just, yours? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, so you guys get to pick which topic you're taking off the board and what you want to add to it. I sort of want to leave this one for my man here, just to go down to history doing that. Yo! Yeah! <laughs> <But>, uh, <laughs> Um, I kind of want to see other people do it and fail. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Absolutely. good. Okay, we're agreeing on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think favorite superhero needs to go. You heard it here first from the mouth of Superman. Yeah, right, yeah. Superhero. Who okay. likes superheroes? So, superhero's gonna go. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be Alright, so what are we adding, guys? <laughs> hey, man, I pick which one goes away, so... You, <laughs> you guys, He's off duty. You, yeah. Did anyone come up with this right here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can go with favorite porn star. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not playing it a squeaky sit. Just have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yeah, that's it. But you guys want that to add that? Mm -hmm. uh, All right, that's it. <laughs> we want this moment to be over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's from Batman, the first, the original Batman. It is. It is? No, it's from, it's from Jack Nicholson. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, it's, I know it's from one of them. Nobody calls that movie Batman anymore. They just call it The, <laughs> the Joker as Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and Got it. There you go. If you could add, <laughs> did you hurt her? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it should have been. Did you hurt her? 